One of the things that's going to happen to all of us in our Christian life, sometime or another, is we're going to get mad or angry at the Lord about something we just don't understand or can explain. Join me as we listen to Deed Eman, a leader of the Dutch underground during the Second World War, as she faced some very difficult things that were very hard for her to explain and to get through. Right after the war, I was so angry with God because that was really, I there was a father of seven kids and the youngest were three, uh, five and seven and nine. And I had to be somewhere and he said, come on and sleep here. So it was, he had a house full, but there was a sh allied plane shot down and those guys, they didn't surrender. They hit in haystacks and pss, 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 These are the pilots now yeah, that are coming uh, for the, the air British, cruise. Yeah, you know, the British, and Americans. Uh -huh. And then they didn't want to go to a concentration camp. It was towards the end of the war. And then uh, I heard that, and they knew that I was in the underground. So they said, can you bring those pilots to that and that address? But on the, you were shot. You didn't even, even get a tra trial or anything. They would if shoot you, you right away. On the spot, you were shot. So it was very dangerous. But we felt, I felt especially, they are Americans. They could have stayed safe behind the Atlantic Ocean. And here they come. So I had to help. And then uh, they had beautiful uniforms and leather shoes, and there was nothing anymore. So we had to put them in rags and tatters, and the shoes had carton soles. So then I had to bring them, and it was very dangerous. And we had fall, and they couldn't speak. If the Germans stopped you, they couldn't speak. Not a word of you know, no, right? They could yeah. only speak English. So that was very dangerous. And then this father, all of a sudden, there was a plane shot down, and there were four allies. And he took them in with his seven in. kids. Yes. But those guys were speaking English to each other when we were eating. And the kids from five, seven, nine heard that. And that was the first time that the word OK that we heard that. You know, oh, it's OK. It's OK. That was it started in the war, that word. Before it was not, didn't exist. And so those kids go play outside. And they heard those pilots. And outside they were saying, well, they were playing OK, OK was a giveaway that there were allies. They knew that the allies had been yeah, staying in the house. They so wouldn't have said those words, right? I said right? to the father, you have to leave, and I don't sleep there anymore. The Gestapo will come here, because they were everywhere. And sure enough, so he hides at the farm. I went away, and I never went back there. And sure enough, the Gestapo came. And because they didn't find him, they took his wife, the mother of seven kids, to and these were the last days of the war. And the Allies flew over, and they were really the boss, you know, because yeah. the, the Germans didn't have planes anymore. They knew they were losing. And then, and that's always what I can't understand of God, and I was really angry. This father is hiding at the farm, and the Allies dropped a bomb, thinking somewhere that there was, that there was some bunkers or whatever, and it fell on that farm. And oh my the word. only one who was killed was the father of the seven kids. So, and you say, yeah. So why, God, why, why, I mean, why, why? What one of the greatest whys of your whole time in the war is this and father is killed, answer. hiding the allies. And his and the wife bomb was falls. taken because they came to arrest him and he wasn't home. So they took his wife to another city where, they, but they were losing the war. So then those seven kids, the youngest. So I went there and I had to take care of the household and everything. And I, but I was so upset when I heard that the father had been killed. And then they let uh, the other people also, they went to the headquarters of the Germans and they said, hey, there are seven kids alone. Can you please let that mo woman out? So th they were losing and they let her so out. So they let her out. So she they was able to be out. reunited with but her then children. Then the next day we were liberated, so we were free. But I never can understand that God took that father of seven kids. Yeah. And then by the allies, you know, it's so painful. Yeah. I think as listening to Deet share just the, that, that impossible sense of wrestling with what happened to the father of the seven children who had hid the allies during the war and in the end was killed by the Allies' bomb. I think Deet's heartfelt cry was, why, why, Lord, did you allow that to happen? 
And I learned a lot in seeing Deet as a very strong believer wrestling with the obvious injustices that came her way during the war. But I think that we're all going to face. We're all going to have times in our life when we're going to see just terrible things happening, perhaps to others or ourselves. And we're just not going to have an answer. And I was very inspired to see Deet wrestling with the issues and showing her humanity and her emotions, but also not getting bitter about things. But in the end, letting the Lord have the final world word and to realize that there will be things in our lives that sometimes we're just not going to have an answer to in this life. And listening to Deet gave me a peace about that and helped me to look at some of the situations that I struggle with, I think with some new eyes that gave me some peace. Thank you.